All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about my draft grades for the 2017 NFL Draft. For this vlog, I'm going to talk about the NFC West teams. And I'm actually going to start things off with my San Francisco 49ers. They actually had one of the best draft classes this upcoming season. Actually, went on my top three overall. Possibly top two is between Tampa Bay and my Niners. Now, I'm going to start off with their first round picks. They actually picked up two selections. They traded down with the Chicago Bears. They picked up Solomon Thomas uh, out of uh, Stanford. This definitely is a great athlete. He's freaking size, good speed, and I think he will be a well addition in the uh, defenses. Um, side of the football along with new teammate and Ruben Foster coming out of Alabama. Now when we traded down our next selection was in the second round but then we actually traded up due to Foster still being available in the first round and we actually stole them from the New Orleans Saints. This was a great move from our new GM John Lynch. In the third round they picked, we picked up a good um, cornerback out of Colorado and Akello Witherspoon. I think this is a great pass um, breakup um, player. He had 13 pass breakups in 2000. Uh, 16. Um, and then second in the third round, this was a little bit of a head scratcher for me. I did not like the selection too much. And CJ Bathard, the quarterback coming out of Iowa, but we will see he was named TMVP back in 2015. <clears throat> In the fourth round, this could be one of the top steals of this year's draft in Joe Williams, the running back, coming out of Utah. Now, he had a great game against UCLA in which he rushed for over 300 yards, and he was an MVP of the Foster's Farms Bowl of this past season when he rushed for 222 yards over Indiana. Now, in the fifth round, they picked up a pretty decent blocking tight end to help out the ground attack in George Arquetto. Now, he was used as a receiver as well. He did have 13, uh, 300 and 14 yards receiver for the Iowa Hawkeyes. He was a Big Ten honorable mention last season, but he definitely was well known more for his blocking ability. In the fifth round, I did like the selection in Trent Taylor coming out of Louisiana Tech. Now, I really thought he was not going to get drafted um, in this year's draft, but I do like the selection. He is an excellent slot receiver. He's a lunch pail type of dude, and he would do whatever it takes to make the team. I think he will make the team for my Niners. In the sixth round, they picked up DJ Williams, the defensive lineman coming out of Ole Miss. I think this is a good selection. He was a top five junior college uh, recruit, and he did start all 12 games last season with 30 tackles last year. In the sixth round, sticking to the sixth round, they picked up Peter. Uh, uh, Timo Panu out of uh, uh, Utah. He had 34 tackles himself in 2016 with 11 starts. And in their final uh, selection, they picked up Adrian Colbert, the safety out of the U. I think this was a good um, <clears throat> guy to pick up. He ran a 4-3-8 in his pro day workout, so this shows he does have speed, and he helps address more and add more depth and speed at the safety position for my Niners. Now, overall, I'm definitely going to give them an A, especially with their first... Um, Four round selections, and I think um, possibly even with the George Kittle selection, I think they like that as well. I have to give them in solid A. Next up is the Seattle Seahawks. Now they had a pretty decent draft class themselves, not an A like my Niners, but hey, not all the teams can get an A. I'm gonna start off with Malik McDowell. He was the first um, a selection out of uh, Michigan uh, State. This was a an interesting selection at D end. They picked up Ethan um, Posek out of. Uh, uh, LSU, he's a decent offensive lineman. In the third round, they picked up Shaquille Griffin. I think this is a decent selection coming out of USF Central Florida. And then Lano um, Hill, in the third round, they picked him as well. And uh, Nazar Jones out of uh, North Carolina. They actually had some interesting selections. In the fourth, third, second and the third round, they actually had four third round picks. They had Amara Darba, Darba out of uh, Michigan. Now, this is an interesting selection because it's trying to rebuild, keep a young um, crew of the uh, wide receivers, but I think they're pretty stacked with wide receivers, so I was a little bit of a, a head scratcher with that selection. In the fourth round, they actually just had one selection. They picked up uh, uh, Tedrick Thompson. I think this is a pretty good selection overall. T Mike Tyson, and in the sixth round out of Cincinnati, definitely could help out in the secondary and possibly even go down at linebacker, but he's really used more for secondary. Uh, spent, uh, Justin Senior, he's a great offensive lineman kind of out of Mississippi State. They selected him in the sixth round. And also, he had they had two more picks in the seventh round. They picked up uh, Chris Carson, the running back coming out of OK State. Now, he is a big guy. He can give you some tough um, short yardage situations. He should be used in goal line situations. And David Moore, he's a receiver. 
Um, I think this is a pretty good selection out of ECU. So this is a pretty easy, decent selection as well. Now overall for them, I'm actually going to give them a B minus or kind of a C plus at the same time. They didn't have the sexiest selections, but still interesting because Pete Carroll does know what he's doing. So that's why I'm going to actually give them a uh, B minus ad for their efforts. Next up, the Los Angeles Rams. Now overall, I really believe that they had the worst draft class entering this year's draft. They picked up some good name players, but I don't think they're going to fit well in the system, particularly with their uh, second selection in the third round. Now, I'm going to head, head, head to him next, but I'm going to talk about their first pick in the second round and Gerald Everett, good wide receiver out of South Alabama. Now, this was a little bit of a head scratcher. I don't really think they should have selected him. They did pick up Tyler Higby in last season's draft, in, I believe, in the fourth round. So this was a little bit of a confusion for me. I think they should have gave Higby another opportunity. I think this was a wasted selection. Now, in the third round, they picked a great name player, but I think this was a wasted pick as well. They picked up Cooper Cup out of Eastern Washington. They have way too many already slot receivers. They have Tavon Austin, so they signed to a $40 million contract. And let's not forget about Nelson Spruce. He's a pretty good receiver coming out of uh, Colorado. He was a rookie last season. Now, their bet, one of their best selections is John Johnson, the safety coming out of Boston College, just to add more depth in the safety, and he does have some good versatility. Um, defensive coordinator with Wade Phillips will use him in different situations. I did like this selection in the third round. In the fourth end round, they picked up another wide receiver, Josh Reynolds, coming out of Texas A&M. Now, he is coming off of a 1,000-yard season with 12 touchdown receptions. This is a pretty good selection. In the fourth round, I did like this guy as well from Eastern Washington and Samson uh, uh, Ibuk, Ibukam. He's a good outside linebacker who did have just under 10 sacks last season, nine and a half to be exact. And in the sixth round, they picked up a great, valuable selection. This is actually one of their best picks overall. They picked up Tanzel uh, Smart, the defensive tackle out of Tulane. Now, due to the fact that he didn't really get too much national notoriety, it is the Tulane Green Wave. They don't really get much attention. He's actually coming off some great seasons where he had 15-plus tackles for loss. So that shows that he's a uh, disruptor in that line of scrimmage. And in the, second, in the sixth round, they picked up a uh, fullback out of Virginia Tech and Sam Rogers. Hopefully, he will help open things up for Sam uh, uh, for Todd Gurley and the um, ground attack for the Rams. I think they should address it more in the offensive line, in my opinion. And they picked up Ewan uh, Price, their last selection, defensive end out of Pitt. This was a little bit of an okay selection, kind of. Now, overall, for the Rams, very confusing. There were two selections that I did like in John Johnson and Tanzel Smart as far as the value, particularly for Smart. But overall, I'm actually going to give this team a C-. I really wasn't a big fan of the selections. I did like the names, but I don't think they're going to fit too well in the, with the team. So this is a bit of a head scratcher, especially with their early selections. Cooper Cup is a great wide receiver who has the capability to be a number one target. He's a Pilots receiver, but they got way too many players, and you don't know what's, what they're going to do with the players that they have, particularly even signing uh, Tavon Austin to more years. I did not understand that as well, but I give them a C minus overall. Lastly, the Arizona Cardinals, they actually have a sick defense entering this year. They picked up some great players. First of all, um, they picked up uh, Hassan Reddick, the linebacker coming out of Temple. And this was a great selection to help more address more depth defensively. Buda Baker, the safety out of Washington, this was a great selection as well. And in the third round, they picked a, big, a deep ball threat in Chad Williams coming out of Grambling. Fourth round, Dorian Jackson Johnson. This is a good value pick who has the potential to grow offensively in the offensive line. Same with uh, Will Holder, the tackle coming out of Vanderbilt University. Fifth round, not really a big fan of this selection. And TJ Logan coming out of North Carolina. The, the decent running back, but it really was Elijah Hood who was the stud. And then rounding things up is Jonathan Ford, the safety out of Auburn. Hopefully he will make the team, but he's going to try things out. But I did like their first... um. Actually, the first like five round selections, particularly with the first two picks in Buda Baker and um, Hassan Reddick, they definitely stack things up defensively. This is going to be a problem. This could be a good, uh, good team who could represent the West Division of the NFC. Overall, I'm actually going to give this team an A minus for their efforts. 
So that wraps things up for the NFC uh, Conference. I'm actually going to catch you guys in a couple minutes to talk about each um, division of the AFC. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.